Hi guys, this is Jason here from Nathaniel School of Music. In this tutorial, we are going to learn the great Adele song, Someone Like You. In this video, I'm going to teach you and focus primarily on that intro, which incidentally can also be used for the entire verse section. So in the future, you know, uh, once you leave me a comment and uh, let me know what you thought about this one and then let me know if you'd like me to do the next remaining part of the song, we will do the pre-chorus, we will do the chorus and everything in between. So the arpeggio pattern is rather straightforward, but the choices of notes played by the pianist are incredible, right? So it's very, very tactically played. So it's not just A major going to like D major or something. There's a lot going on, a lot of colorful chords and a lot of simple chords sometimes. Sometimes it's just a, a fifth chord. It's not even a triad. So if you don't know any of what I just said now, theoretically, that's exactly what we are going to first do. We are going to dive into the scale. We are going to break down the right hand and the left hand. Stay along with me. Bring out your keyboards. Get a book out if you need to write something down and for those of you who read sheet music, the notation is available on our Patreon. You could head over there, get yourselves a copy, mute this, uh, pause the video and then get a, get the notation and follow along. There are also some of my handwritten notes, not only for this lesson, as some of you know, for pretty much all the other lessons. So let's get cracking, guys. The song's on A major scale. Three sharps, so that's A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, A, G sharp, F sharp, E, D, C sharp, B, A. So that's your A major scale. And the primary chords used, first of all, the available chords are A major, B minor, C sharp minor, D major, E major, F sharp minor, G sharp diminished, A major, right? These are your basic triads. And the song pretty much just uses or focuses on these respective triads. So how we play this is just a chord progression. So the chord progression for the main part of the song, the intro and the verse will end up being A major. Now the second chord is beautiful. They go... C sharp minor but over a different bass. Normally you would be playing A major, C sharp minor with a C sharp bass but the second chord goes A major and a C sharp minor with a G sharp bass and that's voiced very well which I'm going to come to. So first chord A major. Then we go to a simple F sharp fifth. Now you could also replace it if you're looking at just playing block chords with an F sharp minor because an F sharp minor would be the sixth minor of the A major scale, theoretically. You don't want to play F sharp major. That would be not weird, but it will be a secondary dominant which would then have to resolve back to a diatonic chord, hopefully. So you go A major first chord, C sharp minor over G sharp second chord, third chord... A simple F sharp fifth as I'm hearing in the song, but you could also play an F sharp minor. And the fourth chord is a good old D major. So it's A major, C sharp over G sharp, F sharp fifth, and D major. Repeat. Na, na, na. First thing you could do is just play these chords four times each and sing along if you know the tune. Okay. Third chord, fourth chord. Now coming to the pattern, the pattern is a very simple running arpeggio pattern. So I'm going to demonstrate the pattern on the A major chord and then we'll graduate to the other chord. So over A major, this is what happens. In the left hand for the first chord, they play A over A with E, which becomes like an A fifth chord. And in the right hand, you go 
A major this way, but arpeggiated as okay L as I call it L M H M. What does that mean? Low note, middle note, high note, middle note, and we play these as eighth note. So slightly faster would be great. Something like that. So you could also count along. That'll be one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So it's two bars of each chord. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and for additional resonance, you could kind of bring out the harmonics of each note of the piano by holding down the sustain pedal without. Sounds nice. But if you have one or the right pedal, when you press it, it starts sounding a lot more resonant with a lot more of those additional overtones coming into the play. That's with the pedal. Depending on your piano or your piano emulation, it will sound a lot nicer with the pedal on. Okay. While all this stuff is happening in the right hand, again the arpeggio is L M H M. Low note, middle note, high note, middle note. While that is happening, your left hand just drones the A fifth chord. Pretty much for two bars, so it's like a semi brief tied to another semi brief. Two, three. Okay. Could even count it as sixteenth notes. Then it'll be four counts and four notes. Uh, one e and uh, counting in the arpeggio, but whatever whatever be the case, it's four of each. So four arpeggios of each. One, two, three. Getting ready to change to the next one. Okay, first chord again. I want your left hand to play A and C sharp. Not I want. That's what Adele wants. That's in the song. So A E. And then A C sharp E in the right. You could use these fingers because it'll help us play the next chord, or you could even use these fingers: thumb, index, middle, or thumb, middle, pinky. Both work. Let's do that together slowly. through the pedal is held and the left hand is also held don't lift your left hand okay guys so that was one out of the four chords of the intro coming to the remaining chords so the next chord after the a major will be c sharp with a g sharp bass and this is what the left hand is doing g sharp over e and the right hand goes g sharp c sharp e so I guess these fingers work great when you want to play G sharp, C sharp, E. Give your thumb a little bit of a curve so that you don't, you know, kind of cluster your clutter your hands uh, and move them sideways, and it gets very congested. So to avoid that, curve your thumb. Okay, that's your second chord. Let's play that. Four times each arpeggio. So one, second, third, four, and now the next chord, which is C sharp minor over a G sharp bass. Again, let's just toggle A major, proper A major, C sharp minor slash G sharp. So I know. Try to sing along as you play. Second chord. Now the third chord is ridiculously easy. You just go F sharp, C sharp, F sharp, and the arpeggio pattern continues to be L M H M L M H M. So the third chord. There we go. 
F sharp, C sharp, F sharp, C sharp, F sharp, C sharp, F sharp, C sharp. With an F sharp, C sharp drone in the left hand. So, third chord, F sharp fifth. So, all three again. F sharp fifth. Last chord. It's a normal D major where you start on A, so it's an inversion, right? You could also say second inversion of D major. That's the official term. A D F sharp D. Back to our usual L M H M. The arpeggio pattern doesn't change. It's just the notes of the chord and the way the chord is voiced. You could call that voicing on the piano. And the left hand we go D and A. So first chord left hand A E A major second chord G sharp E C sharp minor over G sharp third chord F sharp C sharp sort of F sharp minor last chord you go all the way down and play D fifth which is D A and the right hand you'll be playing the second inversion of D major okay last chord now they play around with this last chord is played around with all through the verse i'm going to demonstrate that once we got the intro and the basic version or the the version basically in the intro of the song so first chord a major mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. c sharp minor over g sharp f sharp fifth d major Very slowly. Second chord, C sharp minor over G sharp. F sharp minor. Rather F sharp fifth. A D F sharp over D. Okay. Also try to play it with a lot of dynamics. Dynamics means a lot of volume control. So you could go. louder softer as you wish i think as per your requirement or whatever you want i like to go loud in the middle of the bar because it's a long chord it's played long so in the middle it you can imagine it to be like a like a hill or a nice smooth hill walking up and down a hill it feels good to walk up a hill doesn't it Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Try to breathe to bring out more dynamics and more control. There we go. That's pretty much the intro and the verse. You could use this all through the verse. there are a couple of alternate verse ends which i have notated also which you can check out in the sheet so it's a d major chord right so so there's one ending where they go f sharp d f sharp so at the end of verse 1 you could end with f sharp d f sharp d f sharp d f sharp and then at the end of um, verse number 2 we go something like that's f sharp a high f sharp a okay those are the the minute changes in the verse section in the intro you end or the fourth chord will be a d f sharp at the end of v1 you're going to do for harmonic variety f sharp d f sharp then at the end of v2 or the second part of the verse f sharp and then it goes to the next part da na 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 which i'll be happy to do in a upcoming video uh, including the chorus na 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 someone like you So do leave a comment with 
what you thought about this part learn it really well and then leave a comment and do stay tuned we'll definitely be rolling out the entire song someone like you very soon uh, we just thought we'll do the intros for all these great songs put them in one playlist so at least you have that down which is and most of what i'm telling you in these lessons where we say intros of these great piano riffs or great piano songs will last you through most of the song it will just be the chorus or one more part which is waiting to come in another video of mine very shortly so that's about someone like you i don't think there's anything more to say in this part we've learned the intro a major scale four awesome chords great voicing a very vanilla tried and tested arpeggio pattern play it with a lot of dynamics hold your pedal throughout the chord lift it and then play the next chord and i hope i i think i've covered pretty much everything and for further reference there's the notation available on patreon again uh, you'll find that link in the description and wherever else on our channel patreon.com will give you a lot of our notes and notation of pretty much every single lesson we do on youtube and which we will continue to do on youtube thanks for watching the video till the very end and don't forget to subscribe hit that bell icon for regular notifications we release at least 3 videos a week so it'll be great to have you as part of the nathaniel family check out our website if you'd like to learn more cheers